Hey there, it's Zach from Engadget. We're here at Qualcomm's booth at SID in Vancouver, British Columbia, taking a look at some mock-up products. And so this is a, not even a prototype device. It's just a mock-up to show the potential of this 1.5-inch mirror cell display. Uh, it has a resolution of 288 by 192 pixels. It's 223 PPI. And so this is a wearable concept. And, uh, obviously, it has the form factor of a smartwatch. And you get a, uh, a color display. And on top of the display, we have a touch um, panel right there that also has front light support. So it's not working right now, but there is a front light in here. Uh, obviously, this is currently reflecting light um, from above, but there is also a front light, so you can use it in the dark. You can navigate through here. It's just a mock-up. so. Not a uh, a device that it, that will be coming to market necessarily. Definitely not in this form, but it could be manufactured by by a third party. So obviously Qualcomm is not going to be releasing a watch, uh, but a third party could manufacture a watch using this mirror salt display. And so you get about a week of battery life with this, which is pretty decent for for a smartwatch, definitely. Now going over here, we have some other concepts. These are two smartphones, and. Uh, really more more of a mock-up than the than the other device uh, but this has a rear panel here that would sit on the uh, the rear of the display so this is the primary display right here uh, it's just a mock-up not a functional display and then over here on the back you have a secondary display so if you want to pull it out check the time uh, see if you have any messages it's the exact same display that we just saw over on the smartwatch concept but it is embedded in the back of a cell phone so these products will not be coming to market exactly as so. These, uh, it's only the display that's, that's going to be embedded uh, into third-party devices. But it could be in the form of a smartphone or it could be in the form of a smartwatch. And these are likely going to come to market, the display at least, uh, very soon. Okay, now this is... Uh, Okay, now this is Qualcomm's next generation mirror cell display. Much higher resolution, 577 PPI. So with this display here, it's a 1.6 inch display and we have a pixel count of 600 by 600 pixels. So 1.6 inch display with a pixel density of 577 PPI. It's reflective and it is much sharper than the, uh, than the mock-up which we just saw. But this display won't be coming to market anytime soon. It's, it's a few years out at this point. Uh, it does scale as well though, so we have a, a second mock-up, which is a smartphone mock-up, as you can see right here. And so uh, this also will not be coming to market uh, anytime soon, but it is a, uh, a slightly functional prototype. It's a static display, but it does have a backlight, as you can see there when I cut my hands. Uh, not a backlight, rather, it's a, a front light, because this is a reflective display. But uh, it's a lot sharper than, than the display that we just took a look at in the smartphone mock-up. This one is 2560 by 1440 pixels. So that's 577 PPI, just like the smartwatch concept that we just took a look at. So that is, uh, it's also very power efficient. So it's, I have a six times, uh, six times more efficient than an LCD or some OLED displays. So you can expect to get much more uh, battery life out of your smartphone if it has a display like this. Again, it's a few years out. Uh, won't be shipping in any kind of product anytime soon. It's just a, a mock-up and a prototype at this point.